hey everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to create partition in windows 10 and windows 11 and how you can create new drive in 2022 so whenever you purchase a new computer or attach a new hard drive to your computer it comes with a single partition and it's always a good idea to have at least three or more partition on your hard drive or your ssd so right now you can see i have only one drive only one partition by the name local disk c so let's say that if i also want another partition by the name local disk d so that's what i will be doing so make sure that you watch the video till the end do not skip any part and if you find this video helpful please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and like the video now once you come here you have to open your file explorer you can either click on this yellow folder or click on the search box type file and from the suggestion you can choose file explorer then click on this pc from the left hand menu option and you will see your drive your partition here so right now you can see it's around 55 gigabyte free of 79.2 gigabyte so that means around 80 gigabyte of space i have on my local disk c so i have 55 gigabyte of around free space so i will be creating another partition for 10 gigabyte so what you need to do from the left in menu option just look for this pc and right click on it on windows 10 you will be getting an option of manage and on windows 11 click on show more partition or options and then choose manage the computer management will be up now here from the left in menu option you have to look for disk management and click on it and it will display your disk here that is 79.98 gigabyte now here you have to look for the c drive the drive that contains the maximum space with ntfs partition you can ignore rest both of them here the healthy recovery and healthy efi system so once you get the partition here you have to right click on it and then choose shrink volume now it will be querying shrink space and depending that you are using hard drive or ssd it may take some time ssd will respond to you very quickly like this it will come up in few seconds and hard drive may take some time so you have to keep some patience now once you come here it asks you that what kind of amount you want to shrink shrink means what kind of amount you want to take out from c drive so I will take out around 10 gigabyte and you have to enter the value in MB. So one gigabyte contains 1024 MB. So I will take in a round figure and make it around 10,000. So it will be around 9 point something gigabyte. Once you are done, then you have to click on shrink. And you will find here that a new unallocated space has been created, which means this kind of amount has been separated from this drive so now we have to create new drive from this unallocated space so right click on it and choose a new simple volume then click on next now it asks you that what kind of size you want to give to this volume so if you only want one partition then you can give around the whole space but if you want two different partitions then you can just half it like i will take 5000 for this one and 5000 for another drive but i will take in this video i will take the full example so i will take 10000 full then click on next and now it says assign the following drive letter so i will take it like c then i will take i can just take it anything it can be e or d whatever you want to and then click on next now here the file system should be to ntfs and you don't have to change anything from here then click on next and then hit on finish and now you will see that the new volume has been created so in order to check it if i go back and check my file this pc option you can see that new volume has been created all right so this is how you can create new partition on both windows 10 and windows 11 and hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes Please drop a like, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question then let me know in the comment section. Till then take care, bye bye.